Hey guys, it's Charlie and I'm with the gorgeous Kate Adair. Hello. <laughs> we're in a taxi and we've just been at Trans Pride 2016 and it's been awesome. It was amazing. It was so good. Did you have fun? That was your first one, wasn't it? It was my first Trans Pride and yeah. it was incredible. I had like the best time. It's just been like a, a day of discovery and roaming around and meeting lots of lovely people. I met mm. Kate for the first time in person. It's yeah, like it's only weird. taken a year. Yeah, it? like we've spoken the phone like quite a few times and we've like chatted online and stuff and then yeah we finally got to meet in person. It's been really nice. Yeah it's been really good. Yeah. Yeah. And then we're crashing in the same house tonight. How weird is that? I've had a hotel catastrophe. Um, oh God. It's a long story. I'm not going to bore you with it. Um, so let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know which hotel you are and you know what you did. Yeah you kicked me out on the street like a vagabond. Um, <laughs> And I've just met a lot of people today, you know, some people, like a lot of vloggers who I've never actually met in person and then also There's um, a lot of that, yeah Just people that I just got talking to, it's such a friendly atmosphere, just come next just year, it. it's yeah. awesome, it's like the best thing you can do And everybody said this year there were so many more people This year the park was maybe nearly twice the size, at least a third bigger and it was still packed. It was unbelievable. You know what I love about Transpride though? Like, you meet lots of people that you might have only said hello to once or twice online. Um, and then you get here and it's just like a big family vibe. Yeah. You know, it really is. Or if you've never met anyone before, you just start talking to them. And it's it's amazing. Like, everyone's so friendly. And they, it's inclusive. And that's the best thing about it. Is like, when you go to the big Pride events, they don't feel as inclusive, but with this, there's family areas, there's kids running around. How amazing is it? Yeah, it's, it's been happy. It's the most inclusive, friendly atmosphere I think I've ever experienced. Yeah, like I, period. I, the march this year was so long. <laughs> did you do the march? Oh yeah, you did on the march. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I, did, I ended up doing the march about five times because I went all the way up it and all the way down it and then all the way up it. Last year the march was maybe about five minutes. This year was like a good what half hour. Uh, yeah, it must have been at least. Yeah, at, at least. least now. Yeah. Here, something that happened last year when I was here is it felt like I'd wandered into some sort of queer utopia. And everyone is gorgeous. Like, everyone, you're just like, oh my god, you're amazing. Like, not even just like, oh my god, you're fat, I want to have sex with you kind of way, but as in, like, you're beautiful, amazing, fairy, wonderful people. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. So much expression and just openness, I think, as well, isn't it? That like, really yeah. comes across when you talk to people. You meet somebody in straight away there's no kind of you know you don't have to worry about oh what do they think I'm trans yeah actually if anything you have to wonder hmm I wonder if they're a cis person yeah welcome yeah it's absolutely and it's kind of funny like that it's such a melting pot of people and this is how great trans communities are like three people got touched going have you got a house have you got somewhere to stay yeah you know someone offered me a hotel room for free really yeah I mean they, they were staying in the hotel room as well so it was like two beds and I kind of know them but you know I thought I'll go stay at the party house that is Foxy's. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks Fox. Thanks Fox to yes. taking me in like a stray. <laughs> yeah and me. It's <laughs> like don't worry I'm gonna get a hotel and I'd booked the hotel from the 12th of June. <laughs> um, brazenly presented them with my booking sheet and went I have a reservation and um, they said you're an idiot. This is the 12th of June. <laughs> <laughs> we legit just got in the back of this taxi went should we make a call up video? Let's do it. What we do? Let's just film it and see what happens. Rock this, and roll. this is how we do it. Is that the rock and roll thing? No, that's find me. No, that is, yeah, that's, that's that, yeah. Oh, what is that? That's like your radical. I, I'm, I'm always doing, oh god, I don't know how I do. You do that all the day. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. <laughs> phone me. <laughs> don't forget to phone me. <laughs> I went for a run down the beachfront and it was beautiful, but the mist was coming in and it felt quite cool actually, didn't you it? You went for a run this morning? Yeah, after 2am in the morning, because I'm oh, you're, oh yeah, you're training oh. up for, we're not, are we allowed to talk about what you're training about? Uh, I'm training for the Ninja Warrior program, um, and I don't know if I'm on it yet, but uh, I'm training, training my up. socks off. How is it going, the training? It's intense, I'm training five days a week. I saw your video and on Instagram. Then, oh, did you? Did oh, you like doing it? the jumps, Thank yeah. You. yeah. It's like a wee frogger. <laughs> yeah, I'm like kind of like parkour girl, but, yeah. but I'm not actually that parkour, I'm just, you know, Charlie parkour. 
Go Charlie Parkour. <laughs> You're like um, a wee all action girl. You've got the racing, you've got the Ninja Warrior. I'm kind of like pitching myself as an adventure woman. Yeah, it's working well. It goes well. Trans adventure woman. As I've grown into myself, I'm more comfortable. I'm just like, uh, I kind of don't even care. I'm not even wearing eyeliner today. I was just like, I'm just going out and doing it. It's really nice when you reach that kind of point and you just feel like you're comfort so comfortable in yourself. You you're not. I don't have to go full force face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I've still got a wee bit of foundation to cover shadows, but yeah, that's it. If I go to work, I always put some makeup on, but, um, you know, having like entire weekends where sometimes I don't put makeup on and it's, mm. like the first few times I did it, I would just feel a bit like self-conscious, but then after a while, you just be like, yeah, oh, this is fine, it's cool. Oh, I don't know, but the world hasn't come to an end. Yeah. <laughs> I've actually started doing, because I'm hanging around with a lot of um, proper hardcore feminists and doing lots of queer activism, I've kind of really embraced my queer identity by some days not even bothering with a bra, like just going out, like no makeup, I no keep bra. getting, I keep getting told off at work by my brothers. For not wearing, not a, wearing bra. a bra. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, your skirt is too short, you're not wearing a bra. Uh, um, yeah, you know. not, not misogyny, go shove it. Yeah, I, I hate that sexist shit. Like you should be wearing longer skirts or wear oh, bags. Like, yeah, I'm like I'm selling engineering machinery to men. Like, <laughs> Are you sure your brother's being protective? Uh, yeah, I think I think <laughs> I think they just don't like seeing my boobs. <laughs> you can say boobs. It's my boobs. See my testiculars. Yeah, they don't they don't like it. It's like the first few times I was doing it, I was like, oh my god, I'm not wearing a bra. <laughs> and you know, I'll let you in on a little secret. And it's like, you know, recently I've been going commando a few times. And oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's quite fun. Yeah, okay, I can do that. Yeah. You know, I like I put a dress on, and I'm like, oh, do you know, I just I can see my pants the whole time, and it's not looking good. And I'm just like, I don't, I don't need to wear pants. Yeah. yeah. Who needs to wear pants? It's yeah. hot. Like you know. And it's quite fun not wearing any pants and a bra and just like wearing a dress and being like, yeah. <laughs> Legit just wearing a tiny bit of clothing and that said. Yeah. Wow, I've never seen that view of Brighton before. It's really lovely coming over here. Yeah. Um, oh no, she writes. What's that? Oh, I asked Evie to try and chill the champagne and she said the nurse is. Won't do it. <laughs> not doing it because she's. Busy. <laughs> Yeah, that's not what she said. Ah. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> like you're saying that when you first come out, it's all like, wear a bra, must wear a bra, must wear a bra. But yeah, yeah. it's over. Yeah. And so is this video because we've arrived at our destination. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this ramble chat. Ramble chat. That's like from just ramble. That off Adam Buxton's podcast, sorry. Yeah, copyright. And uh, please uh, put comments in the box, subscribe, and see you guys later. Bye. Bye. You can actually, like, imagine making I a like video it. in the back of a taxi. Oh, we'll do it now. Let's do it. Let's, let's have a mad. Do you mind if we film a mad video in the back of your taxi? Oh, <laughs>